David, we've come today to talk about the Evo line, but before we do, can we just talk a bit more about thread rolling in general? Why would an engineer use it? Absolutely, Joe. Well, thread rolling has been around for many years. Probably 1952 was when FETE, the inventors of, uh, of thread rolling, first came onto the market. Really, we're looking for stronger threads. Yeah. When you cut a thread, you're interrupting the grain flow. When you're uh, rolling a thread, you're compressing that grain flow. You're making a much stronger thread in the effective area of the thread. That's really the main thing. Also, as a byproduct, this is a much faster process. Normally, um, it takes about the same time as one pass from conventional cutting. And if we talk about the Evo line, what's new? Okay, as I said before, um, the thread rolling has been around since about 1952, and the, uh, the, the process is exactly the same. Nothing's really changed about the method. The only thing that's changed is the, uh, the head itself. We've redesigned it, gone back to basics. Um, we've listened to what our customers have, have asked for. They wanted a more precise, easier to use uh, head. So we've now got a fine adjustment on here, which you can use with the... Uh, um, with the, the Torx key, and that can adjust the fine adjustment, which we could, couldn't do before. Um, also, process stability is important. We can undo that. There is a small uh, flange here, now, which is protecting the insides of that during the process, so no swarf can get in there. Yeah. If I show you on the bigger head, this uh, closing clip here, um, normally in the past it's been fixed in one position. fixed in one position, now it's, it's infinitely fixable. So you don't need to put different flats on different places. So it's a far more user-friendly process than it was before. So what's the advantage for a customer? Is it the, the advantages are sort of twofold. Uh, one is the strength of the thread uh, due to the compression of the structure and not cutting through the structure. But lots of people decide that it's, they would use this type of process for the speed. Um, if you take a, an example, in old money, 100 feet a minute would be roughly your rolling speed, maybe 33 metres a minute. Uh, and using 25 millimetres or one inch of thread, you're really going to be doing that in about one second. But if you could compare that to conventional cutting, each of those passes are going to take about one second. So eight or ten passes conventionally is going to be eight or ten times slower than this process.